Void Warlocks received a big power spike in Season of the Deep. We can now have Overshields, Invisibility, and Devour in one build without needing to sacrifice any key mods or fragments. Our supers also do 25% more damage, we can continuously chain Overshields, and AoE weakening effects with something as simple as weapon damage. In today's video, I'm going to break down build loadouts you can run, giving you flexible options to cater to your own playstyle. I'll explain how it's possible to continuously chain Overshields and apply the weakening effect to groups of adds. The end of the video, there'll be a graphic with my full build and a dim link down in the description. I can't emphasize enough how good these Void Warlock builds feel in this season since Bungie updated Void aspects, allowing each of them to provide two fragment slots. In past seasons, we were limited to three, which hindered the true build potential for Void Warlocks. Let's start with the basics. Feed the Void and Chaos Accelerant are the standard aspects you should be running. They give us Devour on grenade kills and allow us to overcharge our Void grenades. From there, Echo of Undermining, Instability, and Persistence should be your standard set. They allow for our Void grenades to weaken targets, taking 20% more damage, give our Void weapons volatile rounds, which are so broken and satisfying for ad clear, while also increasing the duration of Invisibility, Overshields, and Devour. In the final slot, you can run fragments like Echo of Expulsion. Void ability final blows cause the target to explode, allowing for faster wave clear when adds are condensed. Echo of Starvation, picking up a Void Breach or Orb of Power grants you Devour. This can be incredibly useful to stay alive longer, as orbs will be freely available to you with most builds. You can also try Echo of Reprisal. Final Blows while surrounded grants you super energy, further feeding into quicker content clears. You could even run Echo of Obscurity. Finisher Final Blows grant you invisibility, giving us Devour and invisibility, but what about Overshields? How can we get that? Unto the Breach. Defeating a Void debuff target creates a Void Breach when using a Void subclass. And Protective Breach. Picking up a Void Breach gives you an Overshield or refreshes your existing Overshield. But that's not all. We can also use the Supernova mod. Picking up a Void Breach causes your next source of Void damage to create a large weakening pulse. Yep, an AoE 20% damage debuff from anything as simple as your weapon damage. You pair that with volatile rounds and we have some serious ad clear potential. These builds make it so easy to solo content, like that first encounter from the new dungeon, Ghosts of the Deep. I'd also recommend running mod setups that amplify your void weapon and grenades as these builds are centered around them. Using mods like Harmonic Siphon, Ashes to Assets, Firepower, and Void Weapon Surge. If you're looking for something to copy pasta, then here's my Void Warlock build centered around survivability. I hope you enjoyed today's video. See ya!